Alright, it's a new day. So, the room is a war zone. There's stuff everywhere. Tools. Laying about. But, this is the uh, final one here. And all I need to do is hook up one more power rail. And then, I am ready to go. Uh, this is many hours later, of course. I've started working around 1 p.m. Uh, and I, it's now about 10 p.m. So, <laughs> it's a lot of work, lots of connections, but uh, I've tested all the other ones and they seem to work. And uh, check back when I'm done. Alrighty, final connections. Let's attach these here. We've got, oops, wrong connection. We've got power, one. Got ground. We've got data. All right. So now this thing is fully connected all the way around. So it starts over there. There's the control circuitry. Power goes all the way down here, and data. Data keeps going. Power stops there because power starts back up here, goes all the way down there, and then there's a power connection down there. So we've got power going both uh, down two paths to eliminate uh, as much as possible voltage loss uh, along these long lines. So let's try powering this sucker on and see what happens. I haven't tested it yet. At least I haven't tested this last one, or my uh, provisions for preventing voltage drop. As you can see, it's working now. We cut the lights here. It's working quite well. Unfortunately, if I switch to a mode that has more than a couple LEDs um, blinking at once or on at once, you'll see that the ones at the end still don't like to run. Um, so I'm just, here it, it is cranked up to max and you can see that it's just completely forgotten about this back stretch here. <laughs> and this stuff here too. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. The voltage drop only goes down to about 4.8 volts. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I've been trying to figure it out. I'm pretty sure it's just some high frequency noise getting coupled into things. But uh, it's not supposed to be doing this. It's supposed to be, you know, like that. But the data is getting screwed up. It's a nice effect though. I um, might uh, program this into software later. But, yep. I might just leave this on all night. Cause it's quite a nice ambiance. Let's see, let's try some other modes that I've programmed in. This is individual LED mode. You can move it around. Up, down, up, down. Alright. Well, I think I'll uh, call it quits with this movie here. I'll uh, update y'all once I have the grounding issues or the power supply issues sorted. I don't think it's a problem with the power supply not being able to source enough current because this thing is supposed to be able to source 2 amps at 5 volts and that's definitely not 2 amps, that's maybe uh, about 500 uh, milliamps but uh, anyways, thanks for watching and good night, it's uh, <laughs> that's my window, you can't see a thing, that's because it's deep in the night. And I've got work tomorrow. Alright. Alright. Here's the wire that I think is letting me down. That's better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would call that a success. All the little lights work. And uh, the culprit here was me trusting the data sheet. The data sheet said for longer runs of uh, wire between the chips, 
you'll want to add a 50 ohm terminator for the data and clock lines. Well, I did that and uh, <laughs> it was pulling down the uh, signal to about 3 volts and according to the data sheet at 5 volts uh, VCC the minimum voltage where a uh, logic 1 is guaranteed is not 0 0.3 but 0. Point, sorry not 3 volts but 4 volts if I said 0 0.3 I meant 3 sorry so uh, they lied to me basically well maybe I just don't understand termination but uh, you know hey whatever so I <laughs> went around with my side cutters snipped all of the uh, termination resistors checked everything with a scope to make sure that um, I didn't get any ringing or reflections or anything like that and uh, it's working perfectly I can turn it to full brightness here there we go full brightness constant no problems whatsoever the camera seems to like to change brightness modes but um, that's not the lights that's the camera see uh, it's not doing it now come on <laughs> whatever so now I've got to figure out how exactly I'm going to lift it up there and a couple of little final wiring concerns like uh, for instance where exactly I'm going to put the microcontroller because obviously that thing is not going to be the uh, main controller it's probably just going to use this uh, leftover Pro Mini I have but uh, I might use something else I haven't quite decided but definitely an Arduino just because that's what I'm used to and it works pretty well for this task alright so how am I going to get these things up here well I think what I'm going to do is probably unsafe and uh, kind of impractical but it's the best I could come up with so I think I'm going to put a couple screws probably three, one at the end, one in the middle, one at the other end. And I'm going to take some kite string and then loop it over the top of those screws. Then I'm going to attach the other end to uh, the eyelets that I'm, or whatever you want to call them, brackets here that will be part of uh, this thing. So these guys will, you know, sit approximately Actually, we'll go this way, like this. I'll screw them down here, loop the uh, kite string through, and then kind of gingerly lift all three corners at once. And then when it gets to the top, I'll just hold it with my hand flat and then screw in uh, the screws here. So we'll see how that goes. I hope I don't kind of break everything because that would suck. Uh, what I'm worried about is that center joint down there, see with the little uh, rectangle on top. I'm afraid that it'll stress that joint too much, so I'm probably going to clamp things down at least until I have room. So anyways, oh and uh, when everything's up at the top, I'm going to use my clamp there and uh, clamp the ends of the string to that uh, jack as my anchor. Let's see how this works. Hopefully there won't be a loud crash in the next 20 minutes. Well, after much blood and sweat, maybe a few tears, it's up. Oh, my arms are tired. So the string thing, unsurprisingly, didn't really work. It was too unwieldy, so I just basically clamped this thing along there and just kind of manhandled it up there and held it up with one hand while I used my head to gain leverage on the ceiling and to uh, screw in the... Uh, screws with the other hand so it's in finally you can sort of tell that little rectangle bit you can see it right there so uh, I think what I'm going to do is actually paint that visible part the same color as the walls then you won't really be able to notice and there's a few wires sticking up but I just need to tuck those well thanks for watching I'll uh, end this video here I'm tired, I want to do something else other than work on this because uh, <laughs> I've been working on this every evening for a while. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay posted. I will probably post an update later on this week. As long as that doesn't fall down. <laughs>